Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? So the question is, what are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you are business majors, some of you are theologians, nurses, sociologists. Some of you have money, some of you have patience, some of you have kindness, some of you have love. Some of you have the gift of long-suffering, whatever it is, whatever your gift is. What are you going to do with what you have? So you got to get out there, you got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your your prayers, or your treasures. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Four four. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. First, you will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. In the acting business, you fail all the time. Early on in my career, I auditioned for a part in a Broadway musical. Perfect role for me, I thought. I didn't get the job. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition, and the next audition, and the next audition. But I continued to fail, and fail, and fail. But it didn't matter, because you know what? You hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. Here's my second point about failure. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. But do you have the guts to fail? Your life will never be a straight path. 